Hello guys and welcome back to another video of Architects 3DP. In this fifth episode of the Build the Best DIY 3D Printer series, I'm going to finish the build of the Y-axis by installing the heated bed and making the cable management. At the end of the video you will end up having this nice result. Now I'm going to show you the components that we'll need for this part of the printer, but before starting, be sure to subscribe and to ring that bell to be notified when cool stuff is uploaded. If you do it, you will help me creating new content and growing the channel to reach more special viewers like you. Well, so the necessary components for this build are the heated bed itself and a few components that I'm going to detail you later. You will have the links in the description to download all the modified STL files, as well as the links to buy all the hardware through our affiliate links on Amazon. If you still don't have a 3D printer to print all the 3D printed parts yourself, you can contact me by email through my address architects3dp at gmail.com. To start, we'll need the complete Y-axis structure with all the components we installed last week. First, we're going to install the heated bed itself using four spacers, one for each corner. It will go upside down, as you can see here. But before we're going to work on it a little bit, so we'll put away the white structure and put some paper to protect our desk. We're going to weld the two cables that will power the heated bed, one here and the second here. Since we'll be using a 12 volts power supply, we'll connect them following the scheme you have here. So we'll weld one cable to the pad number one and the second cable to the pads two and three. So using quite a lot of tin, we'll go for it and weld everything in its position like so. The next step will be to install the temperature sensor in the little hole in the center of the aluminum plate. We'll introduce it and then stick it in place using some Capton tape. Then we'll use the 3D printed cable holder I have uploaded in STL and place it covering the cables. We'll install it in place using an M3 hex nut in the embedded gap and a 10mm M3 screw. After assembling it, we'll grab the cables together using a zip tie and it will look more or less like this. Notice that I have inserted a portion of 3mm nylon filament, but will keep the cable straight. Next, we'll pick up four 25mm flathead M3 screws, four M3 nylon nuts, and the four spacers. We'll introduce the four screws in each of the corners, pass them through the rubber spacers, and finally place everything on top of the heated bed base. Then we'll check if it sits smoothly on top of the base. And then we'll screw the M3 nylon nuts with the help of a screwdriver and a pair of pliers. At this point we have almost everything ready, I'm just going to weld with some tin and my electric welder, a 2-pin connector to the two cables of the temperature sensor we installed before, and cover the union using some heat shrink tubing. Remember to check the distance to the part where we'll place the motherboard before cutting the cables. Once done, we'll cover the group of cables using a nylon cable mesh cover and adjusting the unions at the ends with heat shrink tubing. After doing that, it will look as good as mine, check it out. Now yes, we have completed 100% the, the Y-axis. Remember that you will have the links in the description to download all the modified STL files, as well as the links to buy all the hardware through our affiliate links on Amazon. If you still don't have a 3D printer to print all the 3D printed parts yourself, you can contact me by email through my address architects3dp at gmail.com. In the next episode, we'll start with the x-axis, so be sure to subscribe and to ring that bell to be notified when cool stuff is uploaded. Hit the like button if you liked the video, leave a comment and share this episode so more people will be able to learn with the project. Finally, I just wanted to give a special thanks to all of you, and especially to our Patreon supporters for continuing to make this channel possible. If you want to join them and support the channel as well, getting nice rewards and making me super happy, you can do it navigating to patreon.com slash architects 3 dp or clicking here in the top right corner. Okay guys, so as always, see you in the next video.